Hello! I mentioned briefly in my fears video about not liking needles, and I'm going to make a video about that. So needles make me feel fainty. Shannon, it's faint, not fainty. When I was little, I never liked needles. Then again, I don't know how many people like them, but it's sort of gotten worse over the years. In grade 7, we started having to get needles at school, which I hated, and I'm going to tell you a few stories about this. Okay, before this, I never felt fainty when it came to needles or anything, I was just nervous. So, my whole class was sitting outside this room, and like, three people went in at one time. So, when I went in, I sat in a chair, and the lady talked to me, asking me questions and everything, then gave me the needle. It was very quick. And she was like, okay, you're done, and gave me a lollipop. Then I got up, walked outside, and just fell against the lockers. Like, my body was just went, nope, and stopped functioning for a second. That's when I decided, instead of going upstairs right away, I'd just sit against the locker and wait for the other people in there to leave. I'm pretty sure there wasn't anyone else out there. It must have been because they call us alphabetically or something, I can't remember. Then once all, everyone else came out, I forced myself to go up the stairs. I mean, I was sort of afraid I'd fall down, but I couldn't just sit there and I was too quiet to actually say anything, so I was just suffering. Now, all the times sort of meld together, so I'm not sure if this was the same day, but when I sat down at my desk, I just put my head down completely, and I'm pretty sure that you're not really supposed to do that. Like, usually a teacher, if they saw someone doing that, they'd be like, oh, no sleeping in class but no one said anything, so plus I didn't care. And I just felt horrible. And my friend next to me was like, Shannon, you look so pale. And I sort of wish I saw myself because I have olive skin, so I rarely see my face pale and I wanted to know sort of what it looked like. But I also remember seeing this other guy staring at me with a concerned expression, but at that moment, I didn't care if anyone was judging me or anything. Eventually, the feeling faded, and I was fine. So, a second time we went, I was already feeling a bit fainty just thinking about that other time, and when I sat down, I told the lady there, I get a bit fainty around needles, and she was like, oh, okay. And once I got the needle, she just let me sit there. She talked to me a bit, like, with small talk to get my mind off it, and it was great. She was a really nice lady, I got a cherry lollipop, which is my favorite, and I wish all my experiences were like that. But no. Okay, so for the third time, I'm still feeling a bit fainty thinking about it, but I'm like, okay, I can do this. I'll tell the lady I get fainty around needles, just like last time. This is a different lady, by the way, it's not the same one. So I get the needle, and she was like, oh, do you feel faint? And I said, just a little bit, hoping to sit in the chair like last time. But nope, this lady was like, oh, go lie down over there then, and pointed to the floor next to the table. So then I said, actually, I think I'll be fine since I did not really want to lie on the cold, hard floor. But nope, the damage was done. She made me go lie there in the middle of the floor. I was very self-conscious about it because there were other people in the room who could fully see me lying there. And I sort of just curled up in a ball for a few seconds, feeling really uncomfortable before I couldn't take it anymore and stood up and was like, okay, I feel great. That was a lie, but I wanted to get out of there. Then I waited for my friends and we went upstairs together. Also, I got a green lollipop and I don't like green lollipops, so that just made my day even worse. Since then, though, I've never felt really fainty right after getting a needle. It's more psychologically, like, thinking about the needles before I get it. So just, like, even writing this video in some parts of it, I just sort of, like, had to stop for a second and was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just writing stuff. Why am I, why am I being so affected by this? I don't know. One time I was at the doctor's and she was telling me and my mom that I need to get a blood, a blood test done. I had never gotten that before, and it's basically the opposite of all the other needles I've gotten. So instead of injecting some unknown substance into my arm, they were taking the blood out of my arm. 
And just talking about that made me feel so fainty. So when we walked out of the room and my mom was making my next appointment or something, I was just curled up on the chair trying to forget about it. And then walking outside, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. And I had to sit down on the sidewalk for a few seconds before forcing myself into the car. The day of getting the blood test, we told them that I get fainty. So instead of sitting in the chair, we went to the room where I could lie down. And here's a tip for anyone who fears needles or gets fainty. Bring headphones or something and listen to music. I put music on louder than usual, trying to drown out my thoughts. Then I just didn't look and tried to ignore it as much as I could. I mean, it did help, and after I got up, I didn't feel fainty. I think it was more just psychologically thinking about it the whole time that made me more fainty than actually getting it done. It didn't really affect me that much. What's weird is I could watch some violent scene on a movie or TV show and not even blink, but as soon as someone gets injected with the needle, nope. Even when someone pulls out an IV, I'll flinch a little. And it's not necessarily just needles, although it mostly is. Thinking about like anything related to blood or insides makes me sort of queasy. Like, in gym class last year, we learned about first aid and went to a place to get first aid certificates. And for part of it, the person was talking about all these things regarding the body and stuff, like the heart and blood flow or whatever, and I started to feel really fainty. I went there with a friend who was interested in health and medical stuff, and she was sitting there listening intently while I was trying to remember the lyrics to every Disney song trying to distract myself. I kept trying to zone out, but for some reason, the one time I actually tried to zone out, my body says, nope, you gotta listen. I was sweating a lot. Like, I took off my jacket, and when I touched my face, my hand was wet. And I was like, oh, hopefully it's not that noticeable. And my hands were really sweaty, but cold at the same time. Not a good feeling. And in case you've never felt fainty before, I mean, everyone's different, but for me, I feel like I'm going to faint, obviously. If it gets really bad, I'll see, like, black speckles in the corner of my vision, I'll be sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, and just, like, my hands will all get, like, cold, like, cold sort of sweat, and I just, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like hearing or thinking about anything like that. Seeing blood from a cut or something doesn't bother me for some reason, but internal body stuff does. What's the term for that? I don't even know. I like to think I'm a little bit better than I used to be when it comes to feeling faint around needles, but at least I don't have to get another needle for a while. What are your opinions on needles? I'm sure there's some people like me who despise them, but there's also some people who are looking into being a doctor and probably don't mind them as much. Let me know what you think. Have an amazing day. Bye! I've gotten a lot of fan art this week. Thank you, guys. Also, I'm going to a cottage this week, so I can't guarantee I'll have a video out next week, but I'll try.